Welcome to How Fix It. In this video, I will show you how to disassemble, cleaning from dust, and replace thermal grays in MacBook Pro 15 model A1707, which was released in 2016 and 2017. Later models are very similar, but there are slight difference. To disassemble, you'll need the following screwdrivers and tools: opening tool, section cup and plastic mediator, and tweezers, anti static brush, and thermal grays. In the description under the video, I leave link where to buy all these necessary screwdrivers and tools. I also recommend using a magnetic mat during disassembly and laying out each screws step by step, which is especially true in the case of MacBook Pro A1707. This laptop has a lot of screws of different types and size, and it's very important not to confuse them during assembly. Turn the MacBook over and remove all screws on the bottom cover. To remove the bottom cover, you need to lift it up. For this I use section cup. Pull the ring up and pry the mediator. Now on the both sides open the bottom cover. The cover is held by two internal clips, so you have to make an effort to open it. Take the top of bottom cover with your fingertips and pull it down. Now we can see this clips that hold the bottom cover. And these upper clamps do not give you just to lift the cover up, so when removing the cover you need to know it. If in your MacBook a lot of dust and you decide to remove dust from the motherboard and components, use only anti-static brush. Now we need to disconnect the battery from the motherboard. For this, take Torx T5 screwdriver. Remove this black panel and disconnect the cable. Now remove this screw and pry up the clamp. Now the battery is disconnected and you can continue disassembly.
Now the motherboard doesn't hold anything and you can get it out of the case. Now nothing prevents uh, to unscrew a couple of screws and remove the fan. Now you can clean the fan from dust. Let's begin to the second fan, remove all screws and also clean from dust. So the fans are cleaned, install them back and move on to replacing the thermal grays. On the back on the motherboard unscrew the screws and remove the metal brackets. Now nothing holds uh, the thermo tube and it can be removed. Remove the old thermal grays from the CPU and GPU, as well as from the surface of radiator. Now take thermal paste and apply into the CPU and GPU. If you still don't know which thermal grays to choose, in the description I leave link to test of best thermal grays for laptops. Spread thermal grays evenly over the entire of surface.
when assembling the housing, these upper clips should be going to the housing. On this side, the clamps are not installed correct and these gaps are visible also on this side of the case. So, as the bottom cover need to reinstall. That's it. And now the bottom cover sits perfect and you can fasten remaining screws. If the MacBook doesn't turn on automatically when you open the case, then plug in charger. Ok guys, I hope this video was useful for you, you were on how fix it and see you next time.